Appropriate charges will be filed against followers of Sulu Sultan Jamalur Kiram, Kiram who were intercepted in the seas of Tawi Tawi. The 34 men and a woman were on board two boats from Sabah. Rocky Ignacio with the details. The government will file charges against 35 members of the Royal Security Forces for illegal possession of firearms. The followers of the Sultan of Sulu were apprehended by the Philippine Navy while entering the territory from Sabah within the vicinities of Tawi Tawi Province. The Navy intercepted the group in two boats consisting of 34 male and a female. The government has confiscated assorted firearms from the group. We have a Comelec gun ban existing, so hindi lang under the revised penal code but also under appropriate election laws, they can be charged immediately with uh, illegal possession of firearms and other deadly weapons. Dilema said the violations are clear and that the government has the authority to file the appropriate charges against them. Meanwhile, the composite team composed of the NBI and the PMP are still investigating the conspiracy theory on the Sabah pricing. The Philippine government has the jurisdiction to look into, that, into those violations and, and file the appropriate charges. It's, it's the duty of the state to enforce its own laws, whether against its own nationals and foreigners. But Dilema clarified that the government has not ruled out the conspiracy theory on the Sabah stand. The arrested members are detained at the Naval Task Force 62 for security reason. We are still investigating. So we are investigating all angles, all aspects of the matter of the so-called Sabah incursion. And that includes the angle of conspiracy. Now the, the NBI and the PNPCIDG have been quietly working on that. Meanwhile, Malacanang urged critics not to politicize the issue. Presidential spokesperson Edwin Lacerda said this amidst report that the Navy ship with Sabah returnees on board was told to wait for the arrival of the ILG Secretary Mar Rojas in Tawi-Tawi. That's not true. Uh, I was with Secretary Marojas last night. In fact, the reason why he said in an interview, a short interview, na intriga lang yan, not even aware of that. Uh, what was very clear, he went there to see the situation, uh, to see the peace and order situation, to see the relief efforts being done. And um, he was also surprised bakit may ganong accusation na pinahintay niya. Lasciarda also dispelled reports that the government mishandled the impact of the Sabah crisis. So we believe that we continue to inform the public now that there was, uh, that violence is erupted, what we would like to lay out is what the government is doing in so far as protecting our Filipinos in Sabah and those displaced individuals who have returned from Sabah. For the People's Television, Rocky Ignacio.